Mobile Carrier News here, and this is just interesting. The company that I run, it, I'm up currently uploading a video. I know this won't upload. I, I honestly want to try it. It's still waiting. It hasn't even prepared yet to uh, upload. But it's crazy to me how this company, Movie Star, and also Telcel. Uh, so let me explain how this works. So basically. So I guess, so it almost feels like Telcel and Movie Star run on the same network, but they don't. They're completely different networks. Each have their own uh, 3G and LTE. They don't have 5G yet. They're gonna they're not gonna have that ready till 2025, which is insane to me. But it's it just blow it just blows my mind. I was just shocked to know, I was just shocked to see this. That wow, um, 3G. Um, I haven't seen 3G since oh eight oh nine. And it's just crazy to me how um, how it how the these two carriers from Mexico have this kind of service and it's super slow. Uh, but I'm not complaining about that. What shocks me the most is that they have 3G and Verizon uh, doesn't give me doesn't give me the speeds I want and and demand a five dollar charge, which I think is if if I want to stay on 3G right now I'm on right now it's literally 2G speed. If I want 3G speed, I got to pay $5 to Verizon, which I think is kind of ridiculous because um, I wish I just wish they could. They're making so much money every day. What uh, and that and that travel pass thing I told you guys about. Unfortunately, that's not going to be active till my next bill cycle. And my next bill cycle is on the 29th, 28th, actually. Sorry, on the 28th. So I'm still on the old plan. As you can see, watch, I'm going to go. I'm on the old plan still. So I think it's kind of crazy how Verizon basically lied to all carriers um, that you're on the newest plan, but you still have a pending order on your account for some reason. And I don't have the travel pass. And I talked to a customer rep uh, when I made that video um, three days ago. This one right here, that's 71 views. Um, I made that video three days ago and I don't have the travel pass. So it it's kind of sucks that that travel pass won't be effective till the 28th. And it blows my mind how these guys are still on 3G. And I'm just like, really? They're still on 3G? No hate to Movie Star or Telcel. Um, the reason I, I, I say Telcel, even though this is Movie Star, is because when I go, when, I go uh, when we drive around for 30 minutes uphill to like either these markets or... Or this like downtown area. It's basically like it's basically like going downtown, thirty minutes away to like a shopping center or like a big area, and they have four and they have LTE. And I'm just like, dang. So Telcel doesn't have LTE yet. They're still stuck on three G. I don't know what their market cap, their market cap is or financials, but they're not gonna um they're not gonna have LTE slash five G right until twenty twenty five. And to me, that's just like crazy I mean like uh, no hate or anything i'm just like wow 2025 um i guess that makes sense for them i don't know what their issue or explanation is um but hey if they're gonna deploy in 2025 i'll gladly come back here in 2025 and gladly test out the network and by that time i'll have the travel pass in full effect um hopefully verizon doesn't do this the same old Slow you down and pay five dollars extra fee BS because it's it's just ridiculous in my opinion, and I was looking into that travel pass thing that they were talking about. Um, apparently it it you will you will have true you have unlimited talk text and truly unlimited data for only twenty four hours if you travel. Like let's say you're going to Cancun, right? Let's say you're going to Spain, Europe, Italy, anywhere. You will have unlimited data, but only for twenty four hours. With that travel pass and let's say you're staying for like two weeks or like nine days i'm like 24 hours so after that they're gonna slow you down and you pay you five dollars i don't know i think just think it's kind of ridiculous i tried my, my i tried my parents and my fat my brothers and sisters at&t network i should honestly make a video about that soon to be honest i've made a i made speed tests and their 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 speeds are incredible and, and, and keep in mind, this is AT&T. They're all on AT&T. I'm the only one on Verizon. Their speeds, they can get up to 10 to 15 megabytes per second down and 12 me megaseconds up on their network. 
So that so that so to me that's saying I'm like wow even though those speeds are are they're not fast they're not slow they're kind of in the middle you could still watch a video and upload and watch things but the fact that like they have up to that kind of speed and Verizon is like how do I want to say this Verizon is I don't know greedy or like they they will give you unlimited data but they put you at 2G speed and AT&T puts you at 3G speed, which is 15, meg 15 um, megabytes per second up and 12 megabytes per second down. That's pretty much 3G speed, and at and Verizon's giving you 2G. Doesn't really make sense here. And the fact that you want, they want me to pay an extra $5 to keep on 3G, maybe, maybe upgrade, maybe update your travel pass and... No, not, not the travel pass. Maybe upgrade your plan... That I pay ninety eight dollars a month, and oh, I don't know. Um, say you're gonna give me three G speed and don't throttle me or anything because I think it's just kind of ridiculous that AT and T is just one step ahead of you guys and just I don't, I don't know. It's it's honestly kind of weird. I'm just giving my two. I'm not mad or anything. It's just my two cents and all this realization and just crazy and movie stars canceling three G by twenty twenty five and tell cells that uh, they're canceling theirs now. And converting to LTE, so they're at a head start. But Movie Star, they're gonna take a few more years, which is totally fine. But Verizon's case with their travel pass thing, <laughs> oh my god, it's just it's just ridiculous. Like I talked to the rep three days ago, and they said it works, but I haven't gotten anything, and no travel pass, nothing. And I'm just like, wow. So not only were uh, was everybody bamboozled with upgrading to the new plans immediately it's a pending order till next bill cycle i don't know why they decided to do that but i just think that's uncalled for the fact that i switched that i switched to the new plan same day when it was announced on january 5th or 6th one of those days or 7th one of those days now i have to wait for the next bill cycle that's like just that's just very unprofessional and the fact that their travel pass is only 24 hour, 24 hours of usage and then what they slow you and then and then let me guess after that travel pass expires they're gonna slow you down to 2g and you gotta pay five dollars for every five for 0 0.5 megabytes of speed that's nothing i think what it what, what is 0 0.5 megabytes of speed isn't that like 500 megabytes yeah I, is that by 500 megabytes i honestly don't know but that that is nothing for five dollars i'm getting ripped off for that one you gotta be joking me with that on that one but that's my two cents. Let me know you guys think about this. Um, kind of upsetting. It's shocking. I mean, I don't mind about these guys shutting down 3G to 2025 because I don't live in Mexico or anything like that. So I'm fine. But Verizon's case with the travel pass, I'm professional. Very unprofessional on that one. Let me know you guys think. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.